Six riders fought their way into the day's breakaway, although it took around 30k for the peloton to greenlight the move. The on-form Fred Wright was joined by Samuele Battistella, Jesus Harada, Omer Goldstein, Harry Sweeney and Jimmy Janssens. Well, Sweeney and Janssens both making their Vuelta debuts this year, while Harada won a stage back in 2019. Goldstein is Israel's national time trial champion, while Battistella is a former under-23 world champion. Wright is yet to take a professional victory, but he's come close, second on a stage of the Tour de France last month, third in Bilbao a few days ago. That leading sextet hitting the Puerto de San Gloria with a lead of around three minutes. Trek Segafredo were pacing the peloton on behalf of Mads Pedersen, the Dane determined to finally get a win after three second places. They were trying to shake off Sam Bennett, but the green jersey was still holding firm at the halfway point of the climb. Eight kilometres from the summit, Goldstein was dropped, leaving five men up at the front. The other escapees looking to reach the top with a decent gap because it was going to be a high-speed run down into Sistiana. Shortly before the summit, Bennett was distanced, but he still had enough time to catch up again. Hirata was first over the summit, with the break still 2 minutes and 45 seconds clear. Game on then, although heading into the final 40 kilometres, Trek Segafredo decided to abandon the chase. The breakaway gaining a few precious seconds before Arkea Samsic and Bike Exchange took it up for Dan McClay and Caden Groves. The gap ticking down slowly, but a bit too slowly. Bora Hansgrohe also getting involved once Bennett was safely back in the main group. Well, this one was going down to the wire, but the peloton had left themselves with too much work to do. The brake still had 45 seconds with 3k to go. The victory would be contested between Wright, Battistella, Harada, Sweeney and Janssens. Harada, he just sits, he waits, but at the moment, Fred Wright, he's forced onto the front. Battistella takes a look around at the back. He wants to make sure that they still have time over the peloton, that he doesn't have to open up and lead things. This is the final turn in this, uh, this race now. Here goes Fred Wright. Battistella is such a fast sprinter at the back of the group. Sweeney gets ready. Fred Wright has had to lead out yet again. Here goes Janssens. Wright waits for him to go. Battistella waits to pounce. Here goes Harry Sweeney on the inside. But Fred Wright is using every single bit of power he has. And Hirada, the non-sprinter, is trying to challenge him on the line. Is Hirada going to take it? Battistella, Hirada, Battistella and Hirada celebrate Well, not too many people would have put their money on Jesus Harada winning today's stage, especially from a sprint, even from that final group of five. But the Spanish climber proved that nothing is ever set in stone in professional cycling. Harada beating Battistella and Wright to take his second Vuelta victory after stage six in 2019. He's now up to 18 career wins, while it's number 16 of the season for Cofidis. Harada taking it ahead of Battistella, who was very close to his second professional victory. Wright is still waiting for his first after another near miss. Evan Apool stayed out of trouble as he became the first rider at this welter to keep hold of the red jersey. No real danger in today's breakaway, with all of the riders over 20 minutes off the pace.